Senegal, being one of the few economic and political examples of West Africa, is continuously showing its extravagance when it comes to steady economic growth of the country. Senegal's economy is driven by mining, construction, tourism, fishing and agriculture, in which a number of mega-projects are being put in place in order to make the country to be continuously setting pace, not only in West Africa, but Africa at large. In this video, looking at Senegal's mega-projects from 2024 through 2025 and on, is the major concern. Dakar – Rapid Bus Transit System Project Being under Car Media Lab, taking care of charging the buses, Dakar, which is Senegal's capital, to get Africa's first 100% electric buses on a rapid bus transit system or simply BRT. Through restructuring the transport network with electric buses, infrastructure investor known as Meridian is to work together with partners, Kielis and Fonses, in order to come up with buses. With a total cost of over 135 million euros, the project will include the operation and maintenance for 15 years, ensuring a clean public transport system. As the supplier of these buses will be Chinese company known as CRRC, each bus will have batteries with capacity of 563.8 kWh. The operator of the buses will be Dakar Mobilite, which will ensure sustainable solutions for passenger transport, road congestion and environmental pollution. The BRT system is to carry over 300,000 passengers a day and reduce travel time from 95 to 45 minutes for a wide variety of riders. Sam Bangalore Hydroelectric Plant Project Located on the Gambia River Base in Senegal, this 128 megawatts hydropower plant will not only generate electric power, but will also have a capacity of 4 billion cubic meters reservoir near Kadugu, south of Senegal providing water for irrigation of farmland and drinking water for surrounding districts. The dam is being constructed by Vinci Construction Grand Projects and Vinci Construction Terrassement Grand Projects. The electricity generated from the plant will be supplied to the four countries of the Gambia River Development Organization, including countries like the Gambia, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau and Senegal itself. Yukataronga Phase 1 Conventional Gas Field Project Located in ultra-deep water in Senegal, this conventional gas field project is operated by Cosmos BP Senegal. Lying in Block K or offshore with water depth of around 8,364 feet, the project is in feed stage and is expected to start commercial production in 2026. Being owned by Cosmos Energy and Petrosum, its peak production will be in 2035 until its limit in 2055. Bissau Dakar Road Corridor Rehabilitation Project Phase 1 Being from Farim through Tonaf to Sondineri, this project is aimed at facilitating transport, that is, increasing the density of good quality roads, about 150 kilometers of paved roads, tracks and bridges, interconnection of customs IT systems, reduction of the number of checkpoints, improved 
awareness and training of economic actors and operators among others. The project is aimed at improving access to basic services, open up a large part of the Oyo and Seju regions. The project will also facilitate the connectivity of agricultural production areas and improve the quality of life and income. Low Carbon Cement Manufacturing Project In order to support efforts in decarbonizing the industrial sector in Senegal, a financing of 214 million euros from International Finance Corporation, the World Bank Group's private sector financing subsidiary, was awarded to Societe West African des Cements, or simply SOCOSIM, the Senegalese, subsidiary of VICAT, a leading international cement group. SOCOSIM will use this financing to reduce greenhouse gas emissions related to its cement. The company plans to allocate this funding to modernize and transform part of its clinker production factory, which emits about 600 kilograms of carbon dioxide per tonne of cement produced. There will also be replacement of old clinker kins with a modern, energy-efficient kins, which will increase production capacity to 2 million tonnes per year. The project will use up to 70% alternative fuels, improving the plant's energy efficiency, helping in reducing greenhouse gas emissions to around 450 kilograms per tonne of cement, one of the lowest emissions in the world. Senegal Digital Technology Park Project This digital technology park will sit on over 25 hectares with additional 75 hectares for further expansion of the park by the private sector. Through creating a sound IT foundation, the government will attract multinationals and companies to relocate their activities to the new urban centre developing around Dianyardo, Dias, Sebikotane and Lake Rose. The indirect economic benefits of this park will include improved status of Senegal, an ICT investment destination, increased growth of the ICT sector having spillover effects in the design of applications, plus services for the government and the citizens at large. The project's specific objective is to establish a world-class infrastructure digital technology park that will make Senegal as hub for IC to sector investment and business process outsourcing facilitating the creation of information economy jobs. Sandiara Gas to Power Plant Project Located in Senegal's Special Economic Zone, this 360 megawatts gas to power plant will be the largest of its kind in Senegal. Being under a partnership of companies including a Spanish construction company, TSK, LFR Energy, a subsidiary of Senegalese Holdings Company, the project's construction is in 2024 with completion expected in 2026. The power plant comprises a combined cycle power station that uses Siemens Energy SGT800 gas turbines to meet industrial power generation demands. With an annual generation capacity of 2,900 gigawatt hours of electricity, the plant will obtain gas from the Greater Torchu Armeyan and Yokar Taronga gas basins. Funds for the project will be obtained for Memorati Fund AI Firk and Credit plus public-private partnerships.